happens to a comedian when you take away their audience? This is a show where comedians perform in an empty theater while the audience watches from the rooftop. So the comedians have no idea how the audience is reacting. Welcome to 7 Minutes in Purgatory! All right, please put your hands together for Michelle Buteau! Michelle, how you doing? I'm doing good, I think. I think I'm doing good, honey. How you doing? All right. This is, this is your first time doing the show. How are you feeling about it? Uh, I feel like a size 16. It feels great. Thank you. Thank you. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Honey, it's always a good thing. Ow! I have no idea what size I am, so I, that's the only reason I was asking. Okay. okay, are we ready to send you down? Give it up for Michelle! All right, here comes Michelle Buteau coming down the stairs, about to do seven minutes in purgatory, show where comedians perform to no audience. Meanwhile, her fellow comedians will be watching from the green room. I think she's gonna bring it. Yeah? <laughs> Whatever, just perform it for no one. It's not a big deal. What's up, Los Angeles? Make some noise! I'm assuming noise is being made. Um, wow, well, this is a nice theater. It's very cute and clean. It doesn't smell like piss. I, I am feeling very vulnerable. I don't know if it's because I'm by myself in here or because I have like a plus size cape on right now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like the summer's over and I feel like I'm still trying to get bikini bod ready. You know what I mean? Like I've been working on it for like 36 years. And, uh, I don't know when it's gonna happen. Like I've been doing like sit-ups since I was 10, they don't work. And um, I see a lot of people in Los Angeles wearing shorts. I love that, good for you. I haven't worn shorts since like, Tiffany had an album. <laughs> Does anyone even know who Tiffany is? Oh, wait, no one's in the room, great, thanks. <laughs> the closest I get to shorts definitely is like ripped jeans. Like I like to wear ripped jeans, like this, or like maybe even more rips. But I don't know, if I sit down in public, I got like a lot of thigh spread, like, ugh, I hate the thigh spread. Like, I was at this hotel one time, it was like an expensive hotel, cause like the water bottles were like $7, and there was a mirror in front of the toilet. And I was like, who the fuck? Like, I love doing comedy, it feels great and natural and fun. I never watch myself do it. It's like watching myself do comedy is like watching myself take a shit. I don't need to see it. I know it feels good and I need to do it every day. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I need to wear this outfit tomorrow. More people need to see it. There's like nobody here. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know. I feel like sometimes in life, your body chooses you. You don't choose your body. Like, I woke up when I was 12 and I just like had these tits and I had these freckles and my body was like, damn, now you're a sassy Raven with Simone. And like, I had no choice in the matter. I just had like, I feel like in life, I'm always like, the girl that has like the middle seat in the airplane, you know what I mean? Like I'm just walking down the street and my tits are hitting people. I don't even know, how do you not know when your tits hit people? Like that's a big deal. Like my hair gets in people's coffee. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm always in the middle seat. I feel like a Puerto Rican Mrs. Doubtfire. You know what I mean? Like I'm just trying not to catch myself on fire. Oh. I try to like, be serious and work a corporate job and straighten my hair and cover my freckles and wear like Talbot suits. I, I look like a Puerto Rican Hillary Clinton. It was like not fun. I, all my references are Puerto Rican. I'm not Puerto Rican, but I just think it's like a good visual. And if there's any tickle bitty bitches that are watching this, I mean, it's insane. Like, my right breast is a little bit bigger, so it's just like trying to fight to like get out of it. It's like a POW, you know what I mean? It's like, it's like a Jonathan McCain, but like of titties. It's like, get me out, we wanna be free! <laughs> yes, titties! <laughs> Feels good. <laughs> I, um, I try to have like a fun summer look, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get some braids. 
braids are super fun. And I'm going to look like Beyonce frolicking in Cuba. But I ended up looking like Rachel Dolezal. Like <laughs> that white woman that was living her life as a black woman in Seattle. Like that's what I look like. I'm black, by the way. I don't know if anyone cares in the universe. You know, I really want to be like Beyonce, but I was not. Like, I look like I was appropriating my own culture. Do you even know how hard that is to do? Very. I want to be like an Erica Badu. I was an Erica Badu. Shut up. Well, I'll leave you guys with this. <laughs> She's talking to an empty theater. I was reading this article on HuffPo one time that if you have a nickname for your partner, you're supposed to get into less arguments. And my husband is Dutch, so I nicknamed him Ikea <laughs> because I like to use his face as a chair. Ew! <laughs> Thank you. Right. Look, you're right amazing. about you that. Amazing. Let's just yeah. say it's a great dream. Yeah. 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 You did it. Yeah. 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 It felt like a dream. dream. You just yeah. played the Montauban. Yeah. 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 It played the Montauban. Yeah. Is IKEA Dutch or Swedish? It's Swedish. But thank you for the follow up. Yeah. I'm just checking. Shout out to the fact checker yeah. here. Yep.